everyone good morning everyone uh, welcome back to my channel hair fitness 1047 today we would you a good day and a happy day and here this official new let's see One, a judge has been shot and killed in his chambers in Kentucky. Breaking news reports indicate that a judge has been shot and killed in his chambers in Kentucky. With the governor confirming the incident, the courthouse has been shut down as details emerge. In a separate development, allegations have surfaced against North Carolina's Republican gubernatorial candidate, Mark Robinson, who reportedly made disturbing comments on a porn website including calling himself a black Nazi. Robinson, who has been endorsed by Donald Trump, denies these allegations, while ABC News has not yet confirmed CNN's report. 2. 2. In tonight's breaking news, with just 46 days until the presidential election, several key stories are emerging. A judge was shot and killed in court, with authorities identifying the sheriff as the shooter. A dramatic video shows a drone being used to locate a missing girl in the woods. Additionally, severe storms are affecting multiple states. Vice President Kamala Harris spoke in Georgia about the emotional impact of a mother's death, allegedly due to delayed medical care linked to the state's strict abortion laws. Georgia officials are also moving to ensure all votes are counted by hand, which may delay the election results. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump is heading to North Carolina amid a scandal involving the Republican gubernatorial candidate, whom Trump previously compared to Martin Luther King Jr. 3. Shohei Otani. The Dodgers superstar made history by becoming the first player. Shohei Otani, the Dodgers superstar made history by becoming the first player to join the exclusive 50-50 club, hitting 50 home runs and stealing 50 bases in a single season. During a game, he hit his 50th home run in the seventh inning, celebrated by teammates at home plate. Otani's remarkable performance continued as he ended the game with three home runs, two doubles two stolen bases and 10 RB is achieving a perfect 6 for 6 at the plate. This historic day in baseball not only solidified Otani's unique status but also provided a lucky fan with a memorable souvenir. 3. Democratic and Republican experts discuss early voting Republican strategist Tricia M. Lynn and Christina Sonnen Ramirez, president of NextGen America discussed the shift in voting strategies since the 2020 election. M. Lin emphasized the importance of early voting for Republicans this year, noting that a significant percentage of voters in key states like Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan voted by mail in 2020. She highlighted that Republicans need to adapt to the current voting landscape, which now includes a focus on early voting, to effectively mobilize their base. 4. Top Hezbollah Leader. Operatives killed in strike in Beirut, Israel says Israel conducted a significant attack in Lebanon, resulting in the death of a top Hezbollah military commander, Ibrahim Ail. Along with at least 14 others and numerous injuries, Ail was wanted by the U.S. for his involvement in the 1983 bombings of the U.S. Embassy and Marine Barracks in Beirut which killed over 300 Americans. The Israeli airstrike targeted Hezbollah territory and is noted as one of the most severe actions against U.S. interests in the Middle East. 4. New fallout from Trump's comments on Jewish voters Former President Trump faced backlash for comments made to Jewish voters at the Israeli-American Council National Summit in Washington. 
He claimed he would be the protector and defender of Jewish people and the best friend Jewish Americans have had in the White House. However, his remarks included grievances that some have labeled as anti-Semitic, despite attending the event to combat anti-Semitism and court the Jewish vote. His comments have sparked controversy and criticism. 5. Eight firefighters hospitalized after fire truck crash on Southern California Freeway A serious crash involving a fire truck in Orange County. California has left several firefighters hospitalized with two in critical condition. The incident occurred around 7 p.m. when the fire truck swerved to avoid a ladder on the freeway, resulting in the vehicle rolling over multiple times. The truck was carrying an eight-member fire crew returning from a 12-hour shift combating a large fire that has burned over 23,000 acres near Los Angeles. The truck was severely damaged, and the scene of the accident spanned approximately 500 feet. 6. VP Harris remarks on reproductive rights in Georgia Vice President Harris delivered a speech in Atlanta, Georgia emphasizing the importance of reproductive rights and commending drive. Reik for her courage in advocating for health and dignity amidst restrictive laws. Harris highlighted the significance of the upcoming election as a crucial battle for the future and freedom. Asserting that freedom in America is not something that is granted but must be fought for. She expressed gratitude to Dr. Reik and the community leaders present. 7. Chair of NC Democratic Party reacts to Mark Robinson accusations the Republican candidate for governor of North Carolina, Mark Robinson, is facing a scandal that Democrats view as an opportunity to win the state for the first time since 2008. North Carolina Democratic Party Chair Anderson Clayton expressed that the party is not surprised by Robinson's controversial comments and hateful rhetoric which they believe do not reflect the character desired in a state leader 8. Kamala Harris shares personal story on why she's passionate about fighting for reproductive rights The speaker shares their background as a prosecutor focused on crimes against women and children. Motivated by a personal experience in high school when their best friend was being molested by her stepfather. The speaker's decision to help their friend and protect vulnerable individuals shape their career path. They emphasize the importance of allowing survivors of violence to have the right to make decisions about their own bodies, deeming it immoral to deny them that right. The speaker expresses gratitude for the solidarity of those present in supporting this cause. 9. Lack of communication, drone issues plagued Secret Service at Trump rally. Report the acting director of the Secret Service, Ron Rowe, acknowledged significant failures in the agency's response to an assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump in Butler, Pennsylvania. He highlighted issues such as lack of clear guidance, fragmentation, and deficiencies in the response. While he discussed potential penalties and changes, he did not specify who would be held accountable for the mistakes made during the incident. 10. America reports on escalating tensions in the Middle East, with Israel conducting airstrikes in Lebanon and Hezbollah retaliating with missile fire Good Morning America reports on escalating tensions in the Middle East. With Israel conducting airstrikes in Lebanon and Hezbollah retaliating with missile fire. Hezbollah's leader has labeled the attacks as an act of war and promises retribution. In U.S. political news, Vice President Harris campaigns alongside Oprah and addresses voter questions, while her husband, Doug Emhoff, discusses the campaign's focus on the economy and responds to criticisms regarding Trump's comments on Jewish Democrats. Additionally, the Republican gubernatorial nominee in North Carolina faces backlash for allegedly making racist online posts but insists he will continue his campaign.